So to start this protocol, you need a bacterial pellet and all of the things provided in the kit. So you start with your bacterial pellet and you need to resuspend it with solution one. 175 microliters of solution one. And you put it in with the bacterial pellet and then you're going to pipette mix that until it becomes a homogeneous solution. Then you're going to add the same amount, 175 microliters of solution 2. And this time, you're not going to pipette mix. You're going to add it in, and then you're going to gently invert the tube 10 times. Let that sit for three minutes. You're then going to add 85 microliters of the N3 buffer. And again, you're not going to pipette mix this. You're going to invert it 10 times. And you should see some white particulate starting to form, some flocculent. You can add the GBT buffer, 100 microliters of it, to the tube. Ten more inversions. Now you build your column. You take a two mil collection tube. Inside of it, you're going to put a DNA high bind mini column. And then inside of that, you're going to put the fast filter mini column. Then you're going to take the uncleared lysate from your tube and it's not going to look clear at this point. It's going to look cloudy and chunky with the particulate. You're just going to pipette it directly into the fast filter tube. You take the filled column you put it into the centrifuge. Make sure to lock it up. And then you're going to let that spin for one minute at 13,000 G's. When you pull it out, what you'll see is that you have clear liquid at the bottom, and then all of the particulate material will have been captured in the fast filter mini column. So this now can be put to the side. We're done with it. You're going to dump the flow through in the 2 ml collection tube, reinsert the high bind, and add 200 microliters of HBC buffer. And then 
we're going to put this back in the centrifuge for another 10 seconds. You're going to see some clear liquid at the bottom. So all of the HBC buffer has gone from the high bind tube into the collection tube. We're going to bring it back over. And because there's so little liquid, you don't actually have to dump the flow through at this point. We can just add 400 microliters of DNA wash buffer right on top. And then we're going to centrifuge one more time for two minutes this time to make sure that all the residual alcohol gets washed off the column. So at this point, we've got 600 microliters in the bottom in the collection tube. And you can see that it's almost at the tip of the high bind column. And that's what we want. Grab a fresh micro centrifuge tube, take the DNA mini column out of the collection tube, put it into the micro centrifuge tube. Now you can discard this, and then we're going to add 100 microliters of elution buffer directly onto the middle of the high bind column. Now we're going to put this back in the centrifuge for one more minute. Have your tube. And at this point, you can discard the high bind mini column, cap your tube, and save it in minus 20 or use it immediately. And that's the protocol.